Okay, the next problem says it takes three and a half cups of batter to make one cake. Okay, how many cups of batter does it take to make two and a quarter cakes? Okay, so this is an interesting problem because, you know, when you make a cake, you have to mix this batter together, right? So you have eggs and flour and sugar and other things and you mix it together and you measure it in, in a cup. You pour it in the cake pan and you bake it. It makes a cake. So what it's telling you is it takes three and a half cups, three and a half cups, just think about how big a cup is, three and a half cups of batter to make one cake. But I don't want to make one cake. I want to make two and a quarter cakes. So I'm not even making one or two or three cakes. I'm not may even making a whole number of cakes. I only want to make two plus another quarter of a cake. Okay, so how much batter do I need? Okay, well if you think about this, if it were a whole number of cakes, I mean if it were uh, two cakes, let's say, you were trying to make, then you would just double the amount of the batter. If you needed this much batter to make one cake, and you were trying to make two cakes, you would just double it, okay, to make two cakes. Okay, so you'd be multiplying by two in order to make two cakes, because you know how much batter it takes for one cake. If you were trying to make two cakes, you would just multiply by two. But we're not making two cakes, we're making two and a quarter cakes. So all you do is instead of multiplying by two, you multiply by two and a quarter. And that will give you exactly the amount of batter you need. So it's the same thing, you're multiplying by however much cake you want, which is not two, it's two and a quarter. Okay? So let's do that. We know that it takes three and a half cups of batter to make one cake. But we don't want to make one cake, we're going to multiply by two and a quarter because we're actually trying to make two and a quarter cakes. Okay? So this is what we're doing, we're multiplying three and a half times two and a quarter. And how do we do that? Well, we have two mixed fractions, okay? So we want to convert these to in our improper fractions and then that makes our multiplication really easy, okay? Makes our multiplication really easy. So let's do this. How do we convert this? Two times three gives us six plus one gives us seven, and you just write it over, over the bottom number here, which is two, okay? And this one is the same kind of thing. Four times two gives us eight, plus one gives us nine, and you just write it over four, which is its bottom number. And don't forget, we're multiplying these together, that's what we're doing. So these representation of these fractions here are exactly the same as these up here. It's just that these look different, okay? But they're exactly the same. They, they mean the same thing. They mean the same amount, okay? Two times three is six, plus one is seven, over two. Four times two is eight, plus one is nine, over four. Now let's go ahead and do this multiplication. We're doing a multiplication of fractions. We just multiply the tops. Uh, nine times seven is 63 from your multiplication table, so that's the top number. Okay, and you don't have to do anything else uh, on the top, just multiply 9 times 7 is 63, and 2 times 4 is 8, okay, so that becomes your new bottom number. And this is the answer, this is the answer, 63 over 8, that's, that's how much batter you need, but you see, 63 over 8 doesn't really tell you much, and it's because you've got this giant number on top and this little bitty number on the bottom, and so like I was saying before, you're always going to want to convert this back to a mixed fraction if you have a big, bigger number on top. So let me ask you a question. Since a fraction really is division, so this is really 63 divided by 8, how many times does it go in there? 8 times what will give you 63, or close to 63? Well, 8 times 5 is 40. Okay, so that's too little. 8 times 6 is 48. That's getting closer. 8 times 7 is 56, right? 8 times 7 is 56. And 8 times 8 is 64. So that's too big. 8 times 8 is 64, and we're only shooting for 63. So we know it can't go 8 times. So let's back up a little bit. 8 times 7 is 56. So we know it goes 7 times, but it, that only gets me to 56. Okay? So 63 minus 56, what is that equal to? Okay, what is that equal to? Well, we're going to subtract 6 minus 3. That's 13. Borrow and make this a 5. Okay, we can't take 6 minus 3, so we have to borrow. Now, what's 13 minus 6, starting at 13? 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. So it's going to be 7. So 63 minus 56 is 7, because this 5 minus 5 gives you 0. So you write this over here, since there's 7 left over, that's 7 over 8, because that's your bottom number. Your bottom number is going to hang, on, hang along for the ride here, okay? 
So let me make sure you understand what we did. The answer is seven and seven eighths cups of batter. Okay, that is how much batter we need to make two and a quarter cakes. Okay, so what we did is we converted these mixed fractions to improper fractions because it made it very easy for us to multiply. Top times top gives us top, bottom times bottom gives us bottom. And then now that we're here, we just try to go ahead and divide and see what happens. So we know that 8 can go into 63 seven times, but that doesn't get us all the way to 63 because 8 times 7 is only 56. So we get close to 63, but not all the way there. And then we just take the 63 minus the 56 to see how far away, what the remainder is. That's what we're trying to do. How, how much is left over after we divide there. And then we write that as a fraction, 7 over 8. Okay. So what you're saying is, 8 goes into 63 7 and 7 eighths times. Okay, that's what that means. And so because of that, that's how much, how much batter you need in cups. And that's very useful, by the way, because measuring cups actually have fractions written right there on the cup. You can read two, uh, you know, three quarters and one third and, and uh, five eighths and things like that. So you can actually measure seven and seven eighths cup of, uh, uh, cups of batter. Okay, you can do that.